Oh my god! <laughs> this thing on? There we go. Alright, might as well use this opportunity now because we're stuck behind a very slow tractor trailer going up a mountain. We have a really exciting day planned over at Roush Creek. We're teaming up with Billy and his crew over at Jersey Power Sports and Starkvarg. We have the opportunity to take a Starkvarg, AKA the Strong Wolf, the 80 horsepower, 260 pound monster of an electric dirt bike, potentially the best one on the market right now available to us. So we're gonna get to take that out today and do a little bit of testing with it, a little bit of a first impression video. We're really stuck behind this truck today though. Look at this to the straight and there's just too many people coming so we're we're stuck behind this that's okay we'll just keep filming the intro and going 17 miles an hour up this hill we're getting a little taste of the stock bark today but billy did say that there is a demo bike on the way as well which we'll get more footage with as that comes but yeah let's go check out this stock bark and take it for a rip and see what it's all about Okay. I'm so excited. This thing is, it's beautiful to see in person. This is the first time I'm seeing it. I just saw it from the rear and oh, from the back, she is beautiful, I must say. So uh, let's, get, let's get into it. I gotta get suited up. Everybody's ready but me. Thoughts. It's really, really nice. I mean, it's smooth. It, it literally just pulls nonstop. It, it feels like no matter how much you give it, it just keeps wanting to get more and more. But awesome. I mean, the thing is nimble. It definitely rides like the 125. I mean, it, it's a really, really nice bike. When you're running in mode three right now, which is 55 horse? Yeah. Okay. Yep, we're in mode three. We're at 88% right now. It looks worse than it is. Yeah. Yeah, Alright. I'm gonna do the stock bark. How does that feel coming down? It is nice. Yeah? yeah. The engine braking is, is really good on it. Is it? Yeah, it, it really does slow it down. You really don't even have to think about the brakes too much. Just coast down it? Yeah, it's, it's nice. a long journey here what are your final thoughts it's i mean it's worthy of a woods bike for yeah? sure i mean the battery life we're at 85 percent i mean it holds up it definitely climbs better goes down the hill better with way little thought no foot brake no yeah. shifter your rear brakes up here i it's mean it's taken a lot to get used yeah. to so i'm like only using that more than my front just to train myself that it's there right you ready to take it huh you ready to take yeah, it yeah i'll take it around there's a big in the woods do i want to take it <laughs> yeah. moment of truth Happy that so, it's off. so three is 55 then it goes 65 and then it yeah, goes power 80. on first there you go and then it's blinking, so when you're ready to go, you just tap that. It's in mode three right now. If you wanted I to try stuff. one, two, and then yeah, three. Yeah, three is, is serious. Six, and uh, four is crazy. Five is 80. 
It's bananas. Okay. We're going to stay in three right now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Yeah. Easy. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. I went to go reach for the rear brake already. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Mode 3 is not <laughs> Oh my god, it's just instant power. <laughs> Listen, a couple rips around the track. Oh my god. <laughs> I have no, I don't have any words, dude. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. No. No, that's third or three. We're gonna try four. Five, See what four does. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> what the? F <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? So easy to balance too. Right steep down that steep hill. I've never felt anything like this. This is insane. Okay. Five. Why not? Okay. Five is ridiculous. Five is absolutely ridiculous, but this bike feels so nice to handle. Oh my, I've never felt anything like it in my life. Like it's nuts, but it's it rides nice, so it's right. it gives you like confidence. confidence it's yeah. confidence inspiring. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna get off in like a second. I'm just gonna two more minutes. Yeah, fun. Yo, oh, dude, wow, yeah. this this is incredible. What, what is this thing? What is this? Straight up, no problem. <laughs> no, no clutch work, no, uh, no shifting. You're just driving. You're just driving this thing. That's it. This bike gives you the ability to just solely focus on your technique. Okay. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Really. Feels weird to be back on a petrol bike, but uh, definitely more comfortable on a petrol bike. Uh, my initial thoughts after riding that start bar is, wow, like that's it. I, I don't know what else to. I'm just messing around here and talking at this point, waiting for them to get ready. Do I have Haha, <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Um, I mean, man, the Stark Vark, like, where do I even begin? It is terrifying and comforting at the same time. It is going to hold you at gunpoint 
and give you Kit Kat bars and cuddles at the same time. It gives you the confidence to ride it and focus on your technique and how the bike actually handles between you and the ground and you just kind of eliminate everything in between the clutch shifting you know you don't even have a foot brake you know you have it up here on your hand which is actually really nice i learned it pretty quick i was riding it around for maybe 10 minutes and i got pretty close and comfortable with the bike uh, fairly quickly even with switching to the uh to the left uh rear brake right up here on the on the bar so but do i want a stark bark now Yes, I absolutely do. What a fun machine. Taking the TSC to all the places I just ran the Stark bar just to kind of feel it, the difference. And even though I'm used to the TSC and it's my bike and I ride every day, it still felt easier on the Stark. <laughs> it felt easier to do those, to do those hills, you know? Not that it's not easy to do on this, it's just a different type of feeling, different type of riding. Start climb! Oh, oh my god. This thing, man. speed move it you know I am not making a sound I'm gonna sneak up on you on my stark varg oh, I forgot about this puddle well water test oh. it's really not flat and yeah puddles this is gonna be a really shoddy top speed run, guys, but, and you know, I'm really, hopefully I get, I'll tilt the camera down a little bit more to, to, to look at it, because I ain't looking down. I ain't taking a second to look down at this thing while I'm on this bumpy ass windy road trying to do a top speed run. Well, if we're gonna be doing drone stuff, we're gonna need to go to not insane speed, but ludicrous speed. Oh my god. I'm not even sure what we got to. I really don't know. Didn't look down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Because that was a terrible start on my behalf. I was too far forward. But you have to get forward. Or this thing just will lift up. <laughs> look at that squirrely start. Ugh. You can't pin it. I have to roll into it. It's just impossible in five. Too much power, too much torque. <laughs> Definitely not a top speed, but a good, you know, zero to whatever the hell that was. 60, 70, I felt like 60 or 70. We've been riding this thing all day and it's been really, really awesome. Like it lasted so much longer than I anticipated. Back to mode three. 
That was awesome. It's it's demonic and elegant at the same time. I, I don't know how else to put it. I mean, 11% uh, is my lucky number. Oh. Yeah, we rode seven, eight hours today. I mean, speechless. 